Drive on lug nuts. And that is what I was thinking about Buick. Ah, yes. You can't, you can't go wrong with Buick. Or sure you, you can. Or you can. Or you can. Who knows? You can't go it's wrong with this. Yes. Starting the show. Welcome, gearheads. This week we got performance targets for the Mach E. Chevy is having a bit of a problem. They're having fires in their car. I don't think that's supposed to happen. No, don't no. do that. S2000 news. S2000 news. Big day for Honda. A brand new replacement for the Fit and Jazz. Very popular cars. Mazda has a program for heroes. A Wrangler for your shelf. And more. And of course, we want you to enjoy the show, but also drive on lug nuts. Drive on lug nuts indeed. And uh, we want you to hop on over here to pjangwh.com where you're going to find all of the funniest and luggiest moments right here in the upper box. But you'll find last week's Triforce podcast, Lower Force Admiral RuPaul Thon. Uh, Thrawn, which uh, you... RuPaul, yes. Yeah, RuPaul Thrawn. Uh, I've, I still think that's a good choice. Yep. Like last week's uh, Bug Nuts podcast, Bud Light Engine Hazard Batmobile. <laughs> Speaking Along of with, uh, Uncle Fester in they, the driver's They recently seat. sold, Sotheby's sold those Batmobiles. Oh yeah, man! Somebody, I, I bet you a fan really several million for yeah each. Yeah, you would, you would for that. So they had that going. Now we're on lug nuts. The first story, first story we have the Mustang Mach E, the all electric Mustang GT performance target are zero to sixty. They would like to do it in three point five seconds. Okay, the performance. I, I'd like to fly. The performance edition will generate 480 horsepower and 634 foot pounds of torque. Holy shit, that's a lot of torque. Yeah. It's a lot that's of torque. Impressive. And it will that have a nice range of 235 miles. Mm. Yeah, I love it. 2021, you can it starts at about $60,000. Mm. All right. I like it. I Absolutely. Like it. Uh, they also have 19-inch Brembo red brakes, 20-inch wheels, and they have a shit ton of colors. They have cyber orange metallic tri-coat. I think that's this one that we see here, which is an impressive color. I like the orange in it. It's very light and subtle I think it's, orange. I think it's yellow. That's yellow. That no, that's yellow orange. To me. This isn't like the dress, the okay. gold, the gold blue dress. I think that's the the uh, uh, because it's very metallic looking, and you'll get a kind of cyber a, orange a pale, metallic. Orange. Yeah, it's not a bad color. I like seeing different colors than just black, white, and gray. Yeah, it doesn't matter how me, how me, how much you know sparkle you put in there. Well, they also have uh, dark matter gray metallic, <gasps> rapid red metallic tinted. Clear coat. Ooh, what names? Star white metallic tri coat. Mm. Gubber blue metallic. Shadow black. Rolls off the Icon beat. silver metallic and space white metallic. Excellent. So they have a metallic thing going? Yes, they have a metallic thing. Okay. So they have a favorite paint job. Looks like we have Kelly. <laughs> what did Kelly say? Kelly is, says S2000 beats the Jetta all day. Uh, <laughs> Jesse can true. agree. And he also says that Mustang is ugly. Yeah, I don't like the style. I, it's, it, I can't really argue I don't think with it should be. Se? I don't think it should be called a Mustang. No. Let's, let's call it an Escort. You're calling it a Mustang because of the grill right here. That's why, why don't we just it a why don't we just call it something else? It's not a Mustang. It's, it's a, powerful, uh, like a, a Ford EV. I mean, what did, I what did I say? Four hundred horsepower. That's yeah. nothing to six hundred torques. Are not anything to shake a stick at. Yeah, I wouldn't shake a stick at any car because you could scratch the paint. 
Yeah, that would be bad. But you know what will yeah. ruin your paint? Mm. Lawsuit, a class action lawsuit against Chevy. Having yeah. battery fire. That'll ruin your Friday. Uh, the recall uh, affected 6,800 bolts because of the manufacturer problem. They had injuries due to smoke inhalation. So if you got a bolt, you might want to get that fixed like now. Wow. It happens when it ha- goes over 90% charge. So wow. don't so charge it up keep all Keep it way. at 70? Didn't Chevy just get... Didn't they just get uh, awards or something nominated for safety safety and most reliable cars? I mean, this is the first time I've heard of anything going wrong in a Chevy in a while. Well, what about what we could just what we could say now is mostly reliable. Well, the battery stuff is is setting fire to your home with uh, potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars in property damage and smoke. They were smoke inhalation. No problem. If you keep your car inside your house in your living room, then there'd be... Well, if you have a garage attached to the house. If you want to be technical about it, that's one way to do it. But technically, Cadillac dealers are pissed. Uh They're exiting. They're like, that's all right. I'm good. I'm good. Just the... No, that's it. Okay. Just yeah, don't, don't play the video. So we'll just have that. Rather than sell electric cars, some dealers accepted a buyout offer or spend a uh, buyout offer and spend uh, upgrades on the dealership. So because they don't like the uh, all electric, they don't want to do it. So they accept the buyout 200, offer to exit, in, uh, or they spend roughly... $200,000 to upgrade their dealership. And accept the electric cars, yeah. Which everyone's going to have to accept electric cars. I'm sorry. Eventually, yeah. I mean, um, all right. I mean, they're giving you an out. 17% of Cadillac dealers decided to uh, later. Uh, that's a shame. That is a shame. I mean, are they going to go with a different This will brand, stretch cause... the... Uh, uh, this will triple the size of Lexus and Audi. So I assume they're going to try and go to Lexus and Audi if right. they can. I but mean, <clears throat> yeah, but you know, where there's one else. car dealership, there's usually more. Yeah. And you know what else we have more of? We have more rumors. These are very exciting rumors. I'm very excited about this next story. I'm, I think this is the only picture. I think Kelly's excited for it, too. I am very excited about this. This is a very exciting car. This is the rumors. They're starting the S2000. Mm. Don't run to your dealer yet. Not until 2024 is when we'll hear from some something else from this car. Well, also, it's Sunday, and, you know, dealerships are closed on Sunday. So, you know, give them a call on Monday. Yeah, well, I didn't mean right this. Uh, all right, a couple Mondays from now. A couple. It doesn't now. even have a green light for it, but everyone is excited, and we need this car now. Just run the red light. Yes. Just run the red light. That's all you got to do. Give me the S two thousand. That's what I'm, that's what everybody needs in this year of depressive uh, depression and horrible viruses. We need the S two thousand to light our way into twenty twenty one. But it's a little bit too late for that. So maybe next year will be better. Maybe we'll get a green light from this, and uh, we'll have a nice new concept design for the S2. They're very likely to use the engine in the R-Type Civic, the turbocharged 4. So depends on how light it is. You know, the Mazda Miata has a four-cylinder, unless you get a flying Miata. Yeah, it's all about how how heavy it's going to end up being cuz if they go out and end up going light like the Miatas are, then, you know, I could see a, a Civic Type R engine really doing mm-hmm. that nice. Their goal is to go under 3000 pounds. So, I think that'll give a that's a nice place to start. And as a side note, it would be a four-cylinder Honda's engine, so that'd be a timing change. So, you don't have to change that out. I like that. That's nice. Another reason to love Honda. And you know what? Honda's got other things in the works. They For a while, a the Honda company. Fit and the Honda Jazz were very popular, but now they have a replacement. Mm. Here it is. It looks all its glory. All, yeah, all its glory. Turbocharged one liter engine with a three pot 
is good for 120 horsepower. Wow, three cylinders? Are we going to acknowledge the fact that this is just a minivan? I, it has doors. It's not a minivan. I'm sorry. The doors don't slide all, all down yeah, the body, is, so it's, it's not a minivan. It's a crossover. That's a fucking minivan. It's a crossover. It they looks call exactly them, like it. It looks like a bubble. They call them crossovers now. Yeah, even Rose by any other name will still look like shit. 128 foot pounds of torque. A whole eight more. Oh, it gets better. CVT transmission. You love that. Yeah, that's scary. All for you. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. So, ugh, I'll pass on the, the, the Go Go Mom van. City Hatchback RS Range Topper has more than just visual tweaks. It also comes with a generous equipped paddle shifter, six airbags, cruise control. Have you ever heard of cruise control? That is an amazing feature of the future. Rear charging ports and armrests for the passengers yeah, we in the living, back. We're living in the now. Eight speaker happens. surround sound system, eight inch touch screen infotainment system. Not too thrilled about that. No, but you know, that's fine. Red aluminum for the digital screen and the instrument cluster. Okay. That's they weird. have everything for you. All right. You excited about this uh, crossover? <sighs> You will be excited about this next one because they're going to reward heroes. That's six. Six. That is a six. There. there we go. No. This is the Sotheby's. Uh, this was supposed to be removed. They sold them. They oh. sold them. I decided not to include that story. This heroes, one, it's all about heroes. Uh, don't play the video. I don't know what the video is. Why don't we? Well, it has a Mazda it? symbol. There. there we go. The hero. <sighs> Mazda is choosing fifty people in their community for outstanding community service this year, in the spirit of Japanese value of putting others' needs first. Okay. Known as the oh, for the love of God, it's a Japanese name. Hang on. O Omi Tenishia. I think that's pretty good. No, that, that, that is actually pretty good. Omi Tenishia. If I butchered it and you're listening, I'm sorry. Tenshina. I Tenashi. I, I, I don't know. But they're giving away a 100th anniversary special edition Omo Mazda. Tenashi. That's what it is. Omo Tenashi. Omo Tenashi. There we go. We get it right by the end of the story. They're giving it away to Heroes, a brand new special edition Mazda MX-5. That okay. is fantastic. Awesome thing. I love when people do great things like Especially that. Especially when they acknowledge the heroes in the, you know, or in a community setting like that. That's really nice. That you get a limited edition Mazda. And with Mazda, they're now the most reliable car. As we covered two weeks ago, last yeah, week. Yeah, well, it's Something. not going to be Chevy starting fires and shit. I'll tell you that. Believe it or not. But Toyota... As a second generation, Mira on the way with a range of 400 miles. Okay. For an electric car, that's pretty good. 400 yeah. miles is in the upwards of uh, as high as they get. It's impressive. They are doing some upgrades. They're going from 17-inch wheels to 19 and 20s. Nice. You got 20-inch rams. Well, my electric car going 400 miles, man, is really impressive. They've made things, the displays on the interior, easy to use. I think well, it's an odd look. It shouldn't look like a NASA or a SpaceX mm -hmm. like launch shuttle. If just it shouldn't be too complicated. On. They're working for yeah. a 50 50 weight distribution. Yeah. So. Okay. I mean, that's a good thing to want shoot it, for. They want it to handle with grace. I Isn't mean, that nice? It sounds yeah. nice. Yeah, nice. I don't know what a car that handles with grace feels like, but you know what? I want it. Yeah, something that's classy and elegant. And because they're too quiet, they have sound creator to create a engine. Yeah, they got a soundboard too? Yeah, they're going to have a great sound. All board. right. That's excellent, man. I like it. They're, they're thinking they're outside the box. 30% bigger fuel tank. Okay. And this is the most exciting part about this. It has negative emissions. Nice. It actually filters the air, 
with fuel cells as you drive. That's cool. It can remove up to 100% of the particles, sulfur dioxide, nitrous dioxide, that it comes in contact with. Mm, okay. Toyota, doing something for you. Yeah, especially NOx emissions. That's something that you really want to keep. Uh, uh, that the uh, uh, you know, Scroll down, emissions. see if they have another picture of this thing. Yeah, the NOx emissions. I like the back end. The rims are d- interesting, but the NOx emissions is The back end thing. isn't bad for a hatchback. What's the, I would, what's the front end look like? Do they have more? Well, it was just that front end there, which mm, is pretty I was thinking nice. Front I like that quarter grill, side. Honestly. No, we get oh, the it's interior. Very nice interior. Oh, I don't care about the, anything on the outside now. <laughs> That's a nice interior, man. That looks you like it belongs big, in their uh, luxury car. Yeah. You get your little weird gear looks, shifter that looks, part of the That looks like there, it though. should not have a Toyota symbol. It should have a Lexus symbol. That looks fantastic. Yeah, that does look fancy. There we go. That's a breakdown. Oh, yeah, uh, there you up. go. To work the 50-50 weight distribution. That is fantastic. They cut that, the car in half to show you all the gooey inner bits. Underneath the back seat, it looks like a fuel tank. Yeah. Underneath the passenger seat and probably the driver's seat is also a fuel tank. Yeah, that's impressive, man. I mean, it's filtering, out the, it's filtering out the harmful emissions. Batteries it's, probably you know, in the back. Yeah, but back in the uh, storage uh-huh. area there. But nice interior when it's not chopped up. Oh, it's impressive only got those looking, two. Impressive Look looking that. powertrain here. Nice yeah, I like it. And the wheels are different. And then this is your little dash there. That's interesting. Got a nice little display. I mean, yeah, I would want to work on making that pretty simplistic if I could. Not a whole bunch. I don't read Japanese. I don't know if you don't know that, but I don't know what it says, but it looks One very looks like, It looks like a tack. Why is there a person running? I don't know. I don't speak Japanese. Weird. But it is a nice interior in black and white for all colors of the spectrum. That's really just like, bold. Just like you, our next story. To give white seats? I mean, yes. Oh my God. Yes. Your seats are almost white. They were at one point. Uh, no, they were gray. Buick is yeah. debuting V2X technology. And they're rolling it out in China first by the right. end of the year, which is vehicle to everything. Yes, V2X technology plays a crucial role in improving safety can safety and reducing traffic congestion. When deployed at scale, it will enable vehicles to communicate with one another, just like the Matrix. Yeah, I mean, it's part of that swarm mentality, though, that with you really one, need. Absolutely. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Communicate with one another in traffic for better infrastructure. Sending and receiving basic safety information, such as location, speed, braking, and direction. I love this idea. God, how, how awesome would that be? Now you can finally let those assholes know. And you'll be able to, I don't they think, will be able to let you know without them even telling you. The vehicle would be able to tell them, hey, no, this guy's going over that way. Yeah, I'd like that. And it, it, at, at some point, and in everything's the, already compensating. At some I, point I, in the future, this will be man. a very nice feature. Yeah. It will be on Chevy and Buick vehicles going forward. We'll have to come back and reference this point when we were first talking about it. Yep. Okay, it's enough reminiscing. It will initially support the V2V and the V2I safety applications with emergency braking, brake warning, control loss warning, abnormal vehicle warning. How's that? All right. In, if you fart wrong, it warns insertion you. Insertion like, collision warning, to intersection collision warning, speed limit warning, signal violation warning. Holy shit, there's a warning If you sneeze on the windshield, it'll actually re- reroute your navigation right to CVS and tell you to get airborne and any kind, any other kind of uh, medication. That's the kind of warning system that's in this car. It's very let's, impressive. Let's avoid this, Buick, and <laughs> we'll go talk about Hyundai. I'm sorry, Dave, we can't go there. You have a fever. Wait, what? Come on, car. I'm just trying to go. No, Dave. No, Dave. We I don't think do so. That, Dave. <laughs> I don't think so, Dave. But Hyundai, Dave. Uh, Hyundai, Hyundai has yeah. engine problems. Yeah, so you should probably uh, look recalling one hundred and thirty thousand vehicles for potential auto uh, engine failure. That's a uh, that's a uh, quite a lot. So, uh, 
I was actually looking for a story on the Elantra, which is next. I hope. So just, uh, you know, some of your engines could fail. So 2011 through 2016, 2.4 liter, 2 liter, and 1.6 liter engines are failing in the Santa Fe, mm. Veloster, Sonata, and other cars. Yeah, yeah. See your dealer immediately. Or it may stop working. Or you may have no choice but to see a mechanic. The dealer might be free. Yeah. There we go. But the Elantra. They have the 2021 Elantra N line. Starting price $25,000. Six speed manual and the dual clutch automatic at twenty six one. I like dual clutches. I had one in the GTI. They're, you know, you got to get used to them. I think with if it had a, you know, regular like a V6 or a non-turbo powered one, it may not have had a lot this of This one does have a turbo powered 1.64 yeah. that makes 201 horsepower and 195 torques crammed in there. I'd be interested to see how quickly the pedal response is because, you know, my 08, 08, mind you, GTI the, had a bit of a lag. As a comparison, we have a comparison with the Honda motor has a turbocharged 1.5 liter, which makes 205 horsepower and 192 <laughs> torques. So they're so, right there. This one's a bit more torquey. If you want to twerk with the torque, you can do it in an Elantra N line. So, it, you know, torque is what puts you back in your seat. Horsepower is what keeps you there. So you're going to be put back in your seat in this Elantra. So it'll probably take you by surprise because you're like, oh, it's an Elantra. You'll be they like, also, oh! Yes, and they also added all sorts of safety features to the well-equipped nice. SE and SEL models. Nice. They packed it full of safety shit. Large front brakes, rear... Multi-link rear suspension, leather cloth... Combination sports seats. Wow. I'd like leather or whatever. Yeah. Sport mode seats optional. What? Select op. Sport mode select optional. Sport mode seats optional. Where your seats yes. just seats magically get are launched optional. out of the vehicle. And Except for the driver. Everyone else has just got to <laughs> hold on and hope that we're getting to where we need to go. What the hell is that? Those are my, that's my ejector seat option. It's okay. Power driver seats, 18-inch 18 inch alloy wheels with Goodyear tires. Okay. Eagle F1 summer tires. Probably not good right now, but at some yeah. point. I mean, just something. get some good all season. And obviously. the new list of sh standard features goes on and on. 60-40 yeah. folding seat lights. We have well, a nice. sunroof leather wrapped sport. Steering wheel and shift knob package. Well, sounds that snazzy. fancy. Very fancy. Perfect car for those of you who like to mod cars afterwards. It's a nice, it's look, it's a nice little, you know, it's a nice little looking little Elantra, I guess. The front end is, uh, you know, not horrible. Yep. Looks the front end cheap. is, um, looks kind of cheap, right? Like plastic, just plastic, plastic, plastic. The front end is something. I don't know about the front end. But yeah. Just put the regular regular Hyundai front end on that. Yeah, they're going for something new. Okay, let's I talk about Legos. Oh, sure. I used to have a whole bunch of them. Technica. Lego Technica. Technical. Technically, now, as the all-new Jeep Wrangler, it will be for sale soon. Amazing. Wrangler is one of the most iconic American trucks of the age, featuring the front wheel steering and artificial sus articulated suspension. It's also artificial because it's Legos. Real life elements such as the Wrangler's folding seats and more. And as you see here, hang on, we got some Kelly comments here. He says, I always thought Hyundai was a reliable car. Uh, good for the money kind of car for the kids, uh, like the first car uh, type, you know. All right, yeah. So he's saying it's that car you want to have for your kids. Get it's, them, yeah, in there, reliable, safe, spacious. Reliable. It's um, Korean, so they're simple to fix. That's yeah. one of the good parts about yeah. them. Says who needs a <clears throat> who needs a seat anyway? 
stand up and, and drive like a man. <laughs> <laughs> and I need that Lego Wrangler. To I think everyone here. needs a Lego Wrangler. Yeah, that's impressive. See the man. articulated suspension? That's awesome. Yeah. Isn't and it has awesome? a winch, man. You see here, wall jangers. It does. It has a winch and 665 pieces. Lego says oh, the model will be, will be released January 1st. 2021. Yeah, man. That's impressive looking. I like that. You can that, get man. it for $325,000. Here's what I want to do. Oh, wait. No, that's the next story. I want to take this. It's not $325,000. I was about to say, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Never mind. But here's my idea. It's still probably going to be an expensive Lego set because those yeah. fuckers I saw, I saw like, today, those are expensive fucking kits. They're like kits. $200. Oh, my God. That's what really... Yeah. Mm. It's fucking crazy. Well, but I'd, love to, I'd, lo I'd love to do the Bugatti one. Yeah, I want to like, take the suspension. They, have, they released the Ferrari 588, I think it was. Yeah, I want to take the suspension off of this one and put it on the Echo 1 that I have in the basement. <laughs> Lego <laughs> Echo 1. I think that would be a badass fucking I don't ghost busting mobile then. They're not the same type of you Lego. You got a ghost on top of a mountain. That fucker would rock climb all the way up to the top, man. It's not. They're not the same type of Lego. Okay. Well, there goes my <laughs> dreams. But that would be awesome. Ghost Fortunately, buster, rock crawling ghost buster, You ghost can buster, get one I for one. less than $300,000. Okay. Probably just two hundred. It's still going to be expensive, just not three hundred thousand dollars. Now it sounds more. About to wonderful, say that thing, it? I better be able to drive that thing to work for three hundred thousand fucking dollars. No, but if you'd like to see a three hundred thousand dollar car, we have that in the next story. Oh boy! Of course it is. Oh yes, the AMG Black. Oh man, no, I don't want your. Notification. Oh man, look at that! It's pure power for three hundred twenty-five thousand yeah. dollars. Top okay. of the line sports car. Recently went around the Nerva Ring at six forty-three six one six. Yeah, wow. For a record-setting time, the GT this GT's four-liter V eight is a much bigger turbochargers and flat plane crankshaft. Yeah, and it's. That is neon orange. Very neon orange. It's got a very nice, aggressive-looking front end on it. It just looks like it's gonna. It's wide as fuck, man. Seven-speed dual-clutch transmission, rear-wheel drive, and it has 720 horsepower, 590 pounds of torque, and it'll twist you from 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds with a top speed of 202. Wow. Yeah, no, I like I like it. I like it a lot, man. I Various wouldn't. upgrades of carbon fiber are available and mm. giant rear wing and uh, track suspension. We can see the, the, the giant rear wing right here. And that you honestly You need that just, wing and probably the front diffuser yeah. to get yeah. that sort of time. Yeah, it's really impressive looking. And I'd, a nice kind of creamy orange uh, color on it, which is and still nice. As Captain Slow would point out, the ride is going to be harder than my Nissan. Yeah, oh yeah. Because it went to the Nurbo Gring, and at that point, tight. the only thing that matters is lap time. Yeah. Bye bye suspension. Yeah, we don't care about your comfort. But in our last story, maybe we're going to talk about Porsche. Oh, they care. Porsche remembers. They have a genius new fuel. To save money. So they have this mm -hmm. synthetic fuel that they're working on. And we can look through these four pictures of the 911. Synth synthetic fuel, huh? Yes. They just announced a plan to work mm. with Siemens Energy to create the world's first industrial scale synthetic fuel factory. No, no, it gets better. I knew we'd get that sort of reaction. It's carbon neutral as well. There's no carbon. Okay. Meaning the carbon emissions from burning is only equal to the carbon that it, in producing it. Sequestered in producing it. Okay. Yeah. So any kind of carbon you needed to get the material is the only kind of carbon that is expended from the whole process. So if you had to use a chainsaw to cut down a tree to get to it, then that would be carbon. Yeah. What does it mean? How is this different than any other? It's carbon neutral, meaning the carbon emitters from burning it is only equal to the carbon 
sequestered from producing it in producing it. The synthetic e-fuel Porsche and Siemens mm. plan to produce will be made using energy to split water into hydrogen and oxygen through electro science to make a hydrogen fuel. Electrolysis. <laughs> through science. They're going to use and lots of mad ass science to get of this hyd- shit. Of a hydrogen fuel. I give up. I give up. They're going to do something and it it, it it's basically methanol. Yeah, they're, they're going to make it Porscheized. I mean, look, changing elements is not that diff- different than any other kind of system. You have that in your exhaust with the catalytic converter. It's a bunch of precious metals that, when exposed to these harmful emissions from the en- the raw combustion of the engine, passes through there, and it is slightly less harmful. And Exxon created methanol, by the way. And Porsche will perfect it. Okay. Don't let us down. I mean, look, man, if it if you can get it to work, and then that would be something that you you don't have to have the you know, crutch of if I'm gonna trust anyone oil. to get it to work, I'm gonna trust the Germans. Yeah. yeah they'll I'd work try, it out. They'll work Porsche. they'll work that shit out. We'll yeah. be fine. Porsche's on it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and then, you know, once they figure it out, just got like a seven to ten year wait, man. And, and you know what? It'll be I don't think it's such a uh, lots of the uh, now they have that that Toyota that we just talked about with the yeah. it clean that. I think that type of technology is going to get more and more in any type of car. And uh, yeah, it'll be allowed. Special allowances will be allowed if it has a uh, cleaning something yeah. or another. Yeah, if it has zero carbon neutral or something well yeah especially if it's like negative where it's like oh yeah no we're taking stuff out of the air bitch we're not we're not just stopping at our car we're taking on yours that is the future it's very progressive man i like it it's very it's a it's a different way of going about a car and i trust porsche and toyota with it uh but of course and we trust you yeah man here at pjandwh.com contact us call us or not call us well, write us. But we we want to hear Google. everything of yeah. that you have to say. You can find, contact the team right here. You can just hit that submit, uh, click that submit button right above your head after you fill out your name, your message, your email. And then, of course, you can find us on all social medias, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. So I guess it doesn't matter if uh, you have a, a Toyota EV or an AMG Black. Nothing rolls without lug nuts. We'll see you next week, gang. Drive on! Everyone is excited, and we need this car. Just run the red light. And because they're too quiet, they have sound creator to create a engine. Yeah, they got a soundboard, too? Yeah. Before you sneeze on the windshield, it'll actually re- reroute your navigation right to CVS and tell you to get airborne. Sport mode, seats optional, where your seats yes, just seats magically get launched optional. out of the vehicle. And Except for the driver. Everyone else is just... Play on the tangers. That was a good segue. Our island car. You know what that means? Super crazy outside time. Super crazy outside time. Oh, man. We'll see you next week, gang. Love nuts. Oh, sorry. I was just having fun with the team. Bye, Bye, gang. Yeah. Konnichiwa. And what we have going for us is our first story. All right. Ford, there should be a picture of a Mustang down below instead of the ad. Uh, Ford, Mustang, Mach-E, they released performance figures for performance targets. This is where they're aiming for. Maybe they'll be able to do better. I'm not so sure about it. The look of the Mustang, Mach-E. Hi. Professional, sorry. Forgot to change it over.
This part's going to be edited out. You want me to start from the top? I'll start from the top. Yeah, start from... I'm crooked. Oh, no, I can't set that there. Uh, All right. So, let's do a run-through of the intro. Mm -hmm. Welcome, lug nuts. This week, we have the Mustang Mach-E. Chevy has a bit of a fire. Rumors of a new S2000. Fit slash jazz replacement. AMG Black. A Wrangler for your shelf. Mazda's Heroes. And we have Porsche News. Hey, I like the bar. The way I can see the bar in front. Drive on lug nuts. Drive on lug nuts indeed. And Link does still hey, not know where to go. Oh, no, that's my beard. It goes over my teeth. Yeah, that's your my beard. beard. It goes over my teeth. You have very, very distinctive beard fangs. It happens when I drink something. Yeah, because this beard part, fangs. It, <laughs> normally, I have my little comb, and I but I don't have a comb. Look, if we we have ancestry back to Transylvania. I'm just saying. You know, you got a little weird beard fangs. Maybe in a comb. Yeah, it, and it like starts a, to curl whee. on the ends. It curls. Yeah. yeah. So when it gets long, it'll be like curly. Oh, not that. One. Not that. One. Not that. Curly. Not that. One. Okay. Not that curly. I tell you what, we want them to do. We want them to hit right here. That's where the subscription button is going to be. You want to like and comment below, and uh, make sure you go ahead right, right above my head. That's going to be all of the lug nuts in a playlist for you, so you can watch them all. And above uh, Big Brother's head is going to be all of the very best purge hangers and wall hangers video for you. And as we always say, drive on. Bye. <laughs>